Sawadee Kap. I'm JP Misanta. It's March 4th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by hundreds of red sea urchins washed ashore at Patong Beach on Tuesday, and now marine life experts are trying to figure out why. Lifeguards and members of Patong Bay Watch discovered the phenomenon after arriving at the beach to begin their patrols on Tuesday morning, and local residents turned out in droves to see the red spectacle hundreds of meters along Patong Beach, with some people alarmed by what may have caused it. The massive sea urchins were cleared from the sand by marine officers, and now marine biologists are looking into whether the sea creatures, which usually live in deep waters, were actually disturbed from their resting place simply because of strong waves. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. For the first time ever, Facebook has removed about 185 accounts and groups that are connected to the Thai military, and it's all over what they called a coordinated, inauthentic behavior linked to the Southern Thailand insurgency. For decades, the Thai military has been engaged in a guerrilla war with the insurgents groups in the south of Thailand, with about 7,000 people killed in the past 15 years. The population in the deep south of Thailand primarily speak Malay as their first language, not Thai, and they're Muslims, not Buddhist. And insurgent groups in those provinces have been fighting to become independent states, and some other ones say they want to join Malaysia, a culture which they identify with. The violence in these areas are sporadic. They don't happen every week, but when it does, it comes in secession and is very deadly, with bombings of patrol routes of volunteer security forces being the most common attack over the years. This week, Facebook head of cybersecurity told Reuters, quote, We found clear links between this operation and the Internal Securities Operations Command. We can see that all of these accounts and groups are tied together as part of this operation. He went on to say that this network of 185 accounts linked to the Thai military included a mix of fake and authentic accounts to manage groups and pages, all used as a propaganda campaign targeting the deep south of Thailand and change the hearts and minds of the local populace there. Facebook says they removed these accounts because they engaged in deceptive behavior, part of a larger effort to crack down on coordinated, inauthentic behavior in other countries, including Iran, Russia, and Morocco. This past October, Twitter suspended 926 accounts linked to the army for promoting pro-army and pro-government content. And in November, they took down a pro-royalist account linked to the palace. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Puka next year, we are back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A veil of silence has been dropped on the investigation into an accident that took place last month that involved a drunken Phuket police officer who tried to flee the scene in his car after hitting one car, sending it colliding into another car in front of it. The incident took place on February 13th at the Phuket International Airport intersection and caused a furor online after the video was posted showing Lt. Nikrong Nokson Kao of Talang Police allegedly in a drunken state, still in his car, after attempting to flee the scene of the accident in which he, allegedly, struck the back of a car that hit a pickup truck in front of it. The investigation is in the hands of Tachat Chai Police, who were not forthcoming with details of the probe other than to say that it is ongoing. We're still over a month away from the Songkran Thai New Year holiday and takes place in mid-April. The government is looking at what celebrations in the country will look like amid the pandemic. The Culture Ministry is approving the return of the annual festival, including several of the activities that were part of the festival before the pandemic began. The Prime Minister told reporters yesterday that the government is considering what measures would need to be applied for Songkran, which usually falls from April 13th through April 15th. We'll bring you the latest on this story as it breaks. Thank you so much for joining us again on Phuket Extra today, brought to you by the lyrics below. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Hey, ถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด้วยความเร็วปกติถ้ามองจากคนที่นั่งอยู่ข้างทางคุณจะเ
ต่ถ้ามองจากคนที่ขับรถตามหลังมอเตอร์ไซค์คันนี้มันติดติดไม่มีไฟท้ายก็เหมือนไม่มีขุนอยู่บนถนนตรวจสอบไฟท้ายให้ใช้งานได้อยู่เสมอเ